Good morning, everybody. It's Kai Pacha. It may not be morning for you, but it's morning here in Italy. And I'm thinking of this. Uh, I'm going to do a live uh, FaceTime tonight uh, about uh, 10 hours from now at 7 11 p.m. in Italy. I think that equals um, like 10 11 a.m. in the morning <laughs> in Los Angeles, California. And I'm just thinking I'm kind of new to this FaceTime stuff, but I'm pretty sure I cannot share my screen. And uh, I basically want to be taking this eclipse through the 12 houses of your chart. And so it will be necessary for you to know enough about your chart to know what house the eclipse is falling in, in order to make sense of what I'm going to be talking about. <laughs> so I've, um, I'm going to share my screen right now so that uh, according to your rising sign, you'll be able to uh, just, you know, just write down or just remember what house the eclipse is falling in um, for your chart. And then uh, maybe uh, tonight's talk will make more sense to you. So let me share my screen. Uh, here it is. Okay, ready? You see this now. Okay, basically, very simply, check it out. If you are Leo rising, okay, this eclipse is probably falling in your first house, okay? And if you are Cancer rising, this eclipse is probably falling in your second house. If you are Gemini rising, this eclipse is probably falling in your third house. If you are Taurus rising, this eclipse is probably falling in your fourth house. Oh. <laughs> if you are Aries rising, this eclipse is probably falling in your fifth house. If you're Pisces rising, it's probably in your sixth house. You get it? If you're Aquarius rising, it's probably falling in your seventh house. If you are Capricorn rising, it's probably falling in your eighth house. And if you are Sag rising, it's probably falling in your ninth house. And if you are Scorpio rising, it's probably falling in your tenth house. And if you are, <laughs> Jesus, man, Libra rising, it's probably falling in your 11th house. And if you are Virgo rising, it's probably falling in your 12th house. You get that? Okay. So um, I'm going to stop sharing. I say probably because... You know, it really varies. Uh, you know, the, the, the rising sign changes a degree every four minutes. So, like, you can, uh, if you're right on the cusp or you're, you know, it, 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 it may not be exactly that. So, it's best to pull out your chart and see exactly where 28 degrees, 53 minutes of Leo is in your chart. There's 30 degrees in a sign, so it's right at the very end of Leo, okay? And then tonight, boom, you know, I'll just be talking, but I won't have the charts because I can't, I can't share the charts on uh, Facebook Live. Hope to see you, you know, or like, you know, hope you can see me or whatever's going on. <laughs> Okay, namaste, aloha, see you later. <laughs>